Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Happy Heart Treasures. I'm Steve. Donna will be joining me after a little while, uh, but she is helping one of our kids with something. So you're stuck with me for a little bit again, and that's okay, I hope. But we do have a big drawing today. Anybody that's in the running for the $50 eBay gift card, we will be drawing that in this video. Um, we're going to talk about our business, how we do things, kind of show things in the garage, and we're going to ship out some stuff. It's Monday morning. I have 26 things to ship. I'm actually going to pull them all, and then I'll just go through them real quick instead of like film while I'm pulling, just in the interest of time. But first, a couple things I want to tell you about. First of all, I'm excited because today I'm going to get my new bubble maker from Amazon. Ordered it through uh, Grams and Pops' uh, link. They, and they have a link in their videos with things that they use. So I ordered it through there and it should be here today. And it's going to go over on the shelf. But I think that's going to help a lot of things, a lot of different reasons. But a big thing is not being able to keep all the scraps that I have now. Look at this, guys. What a disaster. Over the weekend, I had somebody else bring some stuff, bubbles and stuff. And so when we're not down here, we just throw it down the steps and then clean it up later and i haven't been down here so i haven't cleaned it up but yeah it's it's a mess but when i ship today at 26 things going out i'm going to use a lot of this like honestly but i definitely want to get it cleaned up and looking nice down here again and we'll talk more about the bubble machine later after it's here maybe in the next video or sometime in the future but i'm excited about that but then this morning it is a monday and we don't have like the Mondays here, like uh, at my previous job or a lot of people that work Monday through Friday jobs. But I did have a Monday moment this morning. So I got woke up to a message a return request. I'm like, what the heck is that? I sold a $70 club. Here, let me show it to you. This right here, this is a Callaway. Take the, take the cover off of here. Callaway X-Hot, right here, nice club. Sold it for $69.99. I thought I only had one club listed. So when I shipped it last week, I just went and grabbed a club and sent it. I sent a Ping 7 Wood because I didn't realize I forgot I had two clubs that we were put in different places. So I got a return request for this. And so um, they opened the request and I was going to have to refund them. So uh, I just refunded them the money and I relisted it. So... I told them I'm really sorry, like it was an accident. Uh, hopefully, you know, if you still want the club and you repurchase it, like obviously I'll send the right one now because I only have one left. But yeah, mistake by me. It was $70 plus $21 shipping, so $91 mistake. But I still have the club, like I can resell it. And they did ship the one back, the ping. So I mean, in the end, whatever. But yeah, just kind of a bummer to wake up to. But anyway... I'm going to pull all the orders, I'm going to show you all what sold, and then we're going to uh, get with Donna a little later and draw a winner and stuff. Alright, here we go. We got all 26 things pulled, and I'm ready to show you. I cleaned my table off. Look at that. Look at that shine. Clean the table off. Let's go through these and show you what I'll be shipping out today and where they're going. First up, we have this. Donna got this little fella at a garage sale for a dollar. Isn't that cute? This little squirrel. And she got a garage sale for a dollar. It sold for $12.74. And it is going out to St. Louis, Missouri. Next, we have these two Spice of Life containers. A tall and a small. Kind of cool, huh? Donna picked these up for a dollar at a garage sale. And they sold for $12. And they are going to California. Then we have this federal glass refrigerator dish right there. We've got some fruits and veggies on the lid. And that right there, Donna got, guess what? At a garage sale, guess how much? $1. And that's going for $11.99. And it's actually going right down the road in Nebraska to Elkhorn, which is right by Omaha. So about a 45 minute delivery. Next up, we have this glass pumpkin. Kind of cool, huh? The spiral stem there and this uh it says inventory which means it was in our storage unit from a long time it's where i clean out from a long time ago donna listed that and it's got 17 dollars 99 
and that baby right there is going to Texas. Next up right here, we got a pipe, a smoking pipe. And this is a, what does it say on here? Craig, Craig? Let's see, it's a Britannia tobacco pipe made in England, it says. Made in England on this side. Anyway, uh, sold for $20, and that is going to Tennessee. You got that out of an estate buyout. Uh, the estate sale, I bought all the pipes they had, and that was in there. $20, Tennessee. Next up, we showed you this in the last video. We knew this was going to be a good sale. Uh, this is We found this from the Fire Buy. It is a Tonka Toys. It says on the bottom there, a little fire hydrant. This came from a pumper truck in the 60s, and it went with the truck. And this uh, right here sold for $35. And that little fella right there is going to Massachusetts right there. Massachusetts. The very next thing is also from the Fire Buy, and it was also in the last video. It is this die-cast uh, pump truck. Old, old, with three horses. I I may have listed this a little low because it sold in just like a couple hours, but you know what? That's okay. From the comp size found, I thought it was a pretty fair price, and we sold this for $29.99, and it is going to Kentucky. It's going to a town that is one of the little towns right next to where a kid lives. So, Kentucky it comes. Next up, this comes from a clean out. We have this a long time ago. It was in the storage unit. A uh, box of ornaments, glass ornaments. This sold for $19.99. And it is going to Rhode Island right there. Next, we got a pair of Cabela boots. they are got some use out of them, but there's still a lot of use left in them. They're in pretty good condition. Uh, I paid $5 at a garage sale for these. They sold for $40, and they're going to Idaho. And then we have a... Is this Bed Bath & Body Works? Yeah, Bath & Body Works. Bed Bath & Body Works. Uh, aromatherapy Body Cream is sold for $12. It's going to California. I believe Donna got that at a garage sale. Probably paid a buck or something. Next, we have a pair of shoes. These are Rockport shoes. These may look familiar to one of our loyal viewers. These were my mother's, and they sold for $16. And where are they going? They're going to Oregon, right there. Rockport's to Oregon pair of Levi's 505 jeans right there. We got those at the bins a long time ago. They sold for $10 and they're going to Wisconsin. This was a fun little sale. Uh, in sync cassette, brand new sealed in the package. Man, I wish that would focus better. What's up with that? But this one came through and wow, like that, $29.99 right there. And that is going to Texas. Brand new in sync cassette. Also going to Texas is this cute little Pooh mug. It's got Eeyore and Pooh and it's a Tigger, not Tigger, uh, Piglet right there. Uh, that sold for $16.99. That's going to Texas also. And Donna got that at a garage sale. Not sure. It didn't say what she paid, but probably 50 cents, quarter, or dollar. So $16.99. We're going to have a little run of Iowa items right now. Um, this little Jim Shore ornament came from Iowa. And that sold for $16.99 as well. And that is going, I just looked it up, and it's going here in Lincoln. Honestly, Lincoln. That's awesome. And I recognize the name from somebody that's been watching our videos. And that's awesome. So, Janine, thank you so much. We're actually going to mention a couple of your comments, answer a couple of questions you had later in the video. So, Janine, thanks so much. Appreciate that. Next up from Iowa, this is a uh, little portable printer. Let me get this out here. Comes in this case. There's some paperwork and stuff. But it's a little portable printer, HP. This came from Iowa as well, HP Sprocket. I don't know if you can read that on there. With some ink and stuff, or print, printing paper. And that sold for $35, and that's going to California. Another Iowa item right here. This is the last Iowa item for today. This is a real tree uh, coat. White Water Ducks Unlimited coat. I'm not going to take it out because I'll actually ship it like this. I might put it in a box, but I'm not going to take that out. But that sold for $59.99. And that is headed to Louisiana right there. And then they'll put this on and you won't be able to see them. How cool is that? All right, I had all my stuff stacked all nice and neat over here. In order even. So I'm just going to move over here to finish us off. 
And next we're going to show this little puppy dog. Little is it a pound puppy? Puppy surprise it's called. It's got a brush. It's a little puppy surprise. And underneath her, if you unzip this, there's three little baby puppies. I'm not going to pull them all out, but there's one of them. So, yeah, three little babies up in there. There they are, hiding. So that's pretty cute there. Uh, got that. Donna got that at a garage sale for a dollar. It's a common theme today, and this is going to Ohio. Next up is a cookbook. This came from 1986. Bur right there, it says 1986. I don't know that you can read that, but it's from Burlington, Colorado, I guess. Um, but this came from the very last cleanout we did, right before we went to Cleveland. And we got a bunch of cookbooks, and this one sold for $7.99, and it is going to Colorado, actually. So, Colorado bound, and everything is plus shipping. I used to say plus shipping all the time, and now I ain't saying it, I guess. Next up, from the Fire Buy. We love the Fire Buy. This is a Nylent action figure right there um, from 1999, and this sold for $10.50, and it is going to Kentucky. And then up here we got a pair of Hoka shoes. They have replacement insoles. They're not the original insoles. Um, got these for I think five dollars. They sold for forty dollars, and they are headed to Michigan, right there. Hoka's to Michigan. Then we have from the fire by a lighted uh, light firehouse, lighted porcelain lighted house, Santa's workbench classic series. That sold for $20, and that is going to Colorado as well as the cookbook. I had to look because I thought they were going to the same town, but one is going to Parker, Colorado, and one is going to Peyton, Colorado, so that's funny. Uh, next up, we have all these glasses. There's six of these. And they're all wrapped up here. I'm not going to take them all out, but I will take one out. All right, here's one of the six. It is a Garfield and Odie set there's a six different ones the whole set from 1978 i think it's 1978 yep 1978 and that sold for 24 dollars 29 cents and that is going to kansas city missouri right there we just got three more things here first from watercolors these were part of a clean out these sold for 11.99 and they're going to new jersey and then we have this book go big red football the story of cornesker football book and I don't know what year this is. It's an old book. Uh, 1966 is this year on this book. It sold for $10 and it is going not to Nebraska. It's going to Kentucky again. That's the third Kentucky sale today. And the last thing we have is a whole lot of battle bots. Battle bot toys. I got these at a garage sale when Grams and Pops were here. And yesterday I got these out. I was going to part them all out. I got these out and I started to like test them and play with them. And I was driving my wife nuts because I was just like this one just hammering the table and hammering other things just for fun. But it's a whole bunch of battle bots. Paid $13 at the garage sale for the whole thing. Um, some of them are missing like a panel or two. And it's kind of an odd and ends. Odds and ends. There's 13 bots and there's 20 remotes and i don't know enough about them to try to get too deep in the weeds and i got too much to do so i listed the whole thing and the whole thing sold for 40 dollars and going to south carolina yeah south carolina um the buyer actually messaged and they were excited because they sent an offer for 40 and they said that their dad had really gotten into them lately so it's kind of a surprise thing for their dad so that's really cool so $40 off the $13 buy. I'll take that. It saves me a lot of time and stuff too. So I have plenty of other things to do. So that's everything. Uh, I'm going to get to work shipping and use as much of this in boxes and uh, packing material that's on the floor as I can and clean this up because like I said, I got a new bubble maker coming today. And next up we'll have Donna with me and we will be doing talking about some things and drawing for a gift card. All right, it is 318 and I just finished shipping. We sold one more glass paperweight turtle. Went to Kentucky, I got that one in too. I'm done, here's all the packages. Uh, the one at the top goes to FedEx, everything else goes to the post office. But I wanted to film real quick just to show you how much I used. So look at my floor, guys. Look at this. 
I used almost all boxes that were brought to me. I have a little bit there. This bag here has all air pillows in it. Uh, otherwise, it's just a couple big boxes. This has a book lot in it. I'll probably move. This is an empty box. But, yeah, there's I got some little boxes down in there. But other than the random scraps in here that I talked about, like in the last video, that's it. I've... I've cleaned everything up and I used a lot of it, so um, I will continue to do that. So it just saves a lot of money because boxes are expensive. No automatic bubble air pillow maker yet, but should be coming today. So let's get on to me and Donna. All right, it is later in the day. We have gone to the post office, gotten rid of all the packages. Everything is shipped out and look who I found. Hi. Hi. So... <laughs> Okay, so we're going to answer a question. We have a couple questions by somebody, and we're going to answer those. We're going to go over that. But we also yeah. need to do a drawing. Yes. Are you ready to go? Should we go do that? Yes. Let's do a drawing. All right, let's go do the drawing. All right, we are in Donna's office. You can tell by all of the beautiful yarn. <laughs> and she's ready. Uh, we filtered by comments, and there's 113 comments on it. And we're going to hit the start button and see who wins. Ready? So. Are you ready? Here we go. Ready, go. Alaska, I Deborah love your videos. Deborah Moore 7383, you are the winner. And her comment was, Alaska, I love your videos and enjoy all that you do. Thank you, Deborah. All right, so thank you, Deborah. Congratulations, yes. Deborah. Deborah, you won a $50 eBay gift card yes and you don't have to spend it in our store you can spend it anywhere on ebay yes you can uh so go down in the description of this video there's a link to our link tree and in there you'll find our you can go on our facebook and message us you can go on uh, there's our ebay address you can send us an email but reach out and contact us and we will make arrangements and get you that gift card yes congratulations so deborah cool. thank you all right we just have there's there's a viewer and i just learned today well you already saw it when I was shipping that there's a viewer and she's been watching a lot of our stuff and she had a few questions and she actually bought something that you saw earlier. All right, so Janine had a couple questions and so I'm just gonna kinda let Donna answer the questions because she is the overseer of the organization part of this business, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't know about She's that. the brains, I'm the brawn, no. and that's just what we do. Okay, but <laughs> that's not right, but I'll answer a question. Yeah, okay. So, um, Janine says, it would be fun see, to see your listing process, looking up comps, taking photos, etc. Also, I'm curious how much time you spend shipping items on a typical week. Love your videos. Uh, first of all, instead of shipping, I normally ship Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mm -hmm. I have two days shipping, and we just do every other day. When it's a holiday, it messes it up, or if we're gone for something, it messes it up. So I always try to ship maybe ahead or whatever. But So it's usually three days, and when we don't film... To pull the orders and ship them, uh, it's usually three to four hours. Today was, I it think, almost four hours. It was a while. Yeah. But, yeah, when we film, it adds a lot of time, of course. But Yes. Um, anyway, so the looking up comps, just kind of explain how we do things. Donna, um, Donna does more listing than I do because I do videos and I do the shipping and stuff. So she's better at the uh, looking up comps and listing and all that because she just lists more. So I was going through some boxes from the turtle buyout and I came across this one. And usually I go through and we're in the process of changing how we do things, right? So we're going to look for more eBay uh, items, eBay worthy items instead of, you know, on the dollar auction. But we have to work through the stuff that we have already. So as I'm going through the boxes, I look through and I, I think, what do I have that may be eBay worthy? And something that is marked with a special, you know, maker's mark or something like that is what I'm looking for. Something that is unusual, like, you know, maybe this cast iron turtle or unusual, like a little cow that, uh, is it a bank? Is there no. money in it? What's what's jiggling? It poops jelly beans. <laughs> Sorry, <It> poops, mom. <laughs> it poops jelly beans? Oh, that's funny. Yeah, and so something unusual like this, I'll probably look it up before I sell it on the dollar auction or put it in a lot with something else. Just because it's unusual and it's probably older, 
So I, I'll look that up. If I know what it is, I can type it in and I usually go to eBay search and I will type in what it is. Or if I don't know what it is and don't want to come up with keywords, I will bis just basically take a picture of it wherever it stands, even behind, you know, with the background of stuff behind it. And then I will go to my eBay search and I will search. It thinks I'm talking to it. It will search the picture and it'll bring up what it is. So I can usually find out what it is by doing that. And if you can't find it on eBay, then you search Google, right? Yes, I search Google. Same thing. Um, you go to Google, you look it up. Um, with the, the camera search, Google Lens. Um, if that doesn't work, that usually always comes up. And if we find what it is, and but we can't find any on eBay, maybe it's rare. So we do have WorthPoint. We pay twenty six ninety nine, I think it is, every month for WorthPoint. Uh, that just gives a historical uh, historical data and shows what things sold for or whatever. We tried not doing WorthPoint for and using Terapeak for about two months, and I couldn't handle it. I needed my WorthPoint back, so yeah. we got our WorthPoint back. So we do use it fairly often, honestly, because we come across such random things. For example, when I look something up and I don't know really what it is or what it's called, here is a flocked little bobblehead dog, right? So I took a picture of it. I went to Google, and these pictures came up and so then you can find um it tells you etsy ebay amazon walmart um alibaba all kinds of different places where this dog is i don't, i want to look what it is on ebay because that's where i sell is on ebay right and so i can pull it up on ebay and see the listing so I copy the title and then narrow it down to um, words that I want to use. And in this case, I am going to narrow it down to Bobblehead Nodder Dog K9 Puppy Flocked because he has all those things. And there are 96 results and I'm going to filter by sold. And it says no exact matches, but I can see the different dogs that are on here so I may need to change my words like here is the exact dog right here gold chain it sold for 1465 September 16th so not too long ago um, so I'll look at those and determine what I'm going to list it at to be comparable to these listings and depending on what shape it's in, it's in pretty good shape. So I'll probably be very close to $14.99 probably because I like to end my amounts in 99 cents. Okay, so I look it up and list it and then so that I know what box it's in so that when it sells, Steve can find it. Uh, our boxes, and we've showed this before, they're all labeled with either letters or numbers. And so I have a box right now that I'm working on that's letter D. And that's the box I have up here with me. It has room in it for whatever I'm working on. And when it gets full, we go downstairs and get a different box. But in this case, I would list this one and put in the, what is it called? Custom SKU. Custom SKU. I'd put letter D. I would put where we got it. And I would put um, the date that I listed it. Some people use the date and some people don't. But that just helps us later know how long it's been listed. And you might say, how do you know where it came from? A lot of the things I remember where they came from, but we try to label the boxes as we get them. So like the things from Genoa or from our turtle clean out, we've labeled Genoa because that's the town we got it from. So we know it's our Genoa clean out. Things we got from Iowa and that clean out, we, na we label Iowa. So we know when we pull things out of that box because we work box at a time, um, we know where it came from. So we just label the boxes as we get them. Uh, the next question that Janine asked, actually, I think Donna just covered. She says, also would love to hear you talk about how you organize items once they're listed and if and how you keep track of where you get items and how much you paid for them versus what they sold for. And Donna just talked about that. And she keeps, so in every listing on eBay, we have, 
you know, that's when I'm reading off what I pulled. That's when I can say we got this from the turtle buy or we got this from a garage sale and Donna paid a dollar for it because it's in the custom SKU. So we always know that when we do the dollar auction stuff, Donna does the same thing. She writes in her book. She tracks all this stuff. She keeps all her notes for like tax purposes and stuff. But we write in there on the side where it came from. So if we put 25 things on the dollar auction, we know that these seven came from the turtle buy or these four came from garage sales. We do kind of track all that. So we know, like we know, we know how much we made on every storage unit we bought. We know how much we've made on clean outs and things like that. So Donna does a really good job of tracking all that stuff. There's a couple other questions I want to just address real quick. First of all, from the YouTuber doing it wrong. <laughs> I apologize for throwing you under the bus on the last uh, thumbnail title. I put doing it wrong on there and he sent a message. What's the deal with calling me out in the initial screenshot? That's funny. I got a kick out of that. The next one, another question that uh, we wanted to address. Holly asked the question, are you coming to Junk Jaunt? Donna, are you coming to Junk Jaunt? That is this Thursday, and we are probably going to go to Grand Island and see how it goes. We may continue on down the highway. Okay, first of all, if you're not familiar with Junk Jaunt, the official description is Junk Jaunt is the largest garage sale in the state of Nebraska. Uh, antiquers, garage sale buffs are lovingly referred to as junkers, thus the name. Three days of citywide garage, yard, and bake sales with treasures of just about every type and description. Along the way, there will be also be fun and unique things to see and do. So basically, it's about a 500-mile trek across Nebraska, and they've been doing it for several years now. And um, a couple years ago, we went to Cal uh, Grand Island and then on down the road a couple towns and ended up going back to Grand Island and doing all of their local garage sales. So that's what Junk John is. And yes, we are planning to go at least as far as Grand Island, right? So a couple years ago when we went, what we did was we went to like a starting point at the corner. It's like a big circle all around Midwest Nebraska. It's almost 500 miles. And we went and the first town we went to was just massively like you parked a car and you walked around the whole town because it was it was almost set up like a carnival there were so many vendors not just garage sales but vendors and and just people pull their trailers that's full of stuff and they just park it and then they sell off their trailers well and then we went to one more town what we found was like it's been going on for a long time so like where we were they like they know you're coming and so the prices were really high honestly in the we town yeah in that town that we were at and then we went to another small town it was kind of the same thing and we actually kind of gave up on that because we felt like we didn't want to spend all day driving the highways if this was how it was going to be so what we did that year was we just went back to grand island and because of junk jaunt there was tons of sales in grand island so they we just went back to sales. Yeah, they had church sales and everything else in Grand Island. So we just went back to Grand Island, just did garage sales all day. So we're torn on, we're not torn on going. We are definitely going garage selling. I can't tell you how long it's been since we've had a good full day of garage selling. Well, honestly, it's been since Corey and Teresa and Ink Picker, since we all went together. We haven't garage sold since then because of our trip and everything else. So we're excited to go garage selling. If there's a bunch of neighborhood sales or something, a lot going on here in Lincoln, we may stay here. But I think right now we're planning on at least going to Grand Island. But I'm not quite sure what we'll do after that. It depends on a lot of factors, I think. And then one other last thing. A couple different people noted not to, if I don't want to ship entire sets of China, that to part them out and sell them in pieces and everything else. And I totally get that, and we normally do that. But that set just works so well as a whole set and I really didn't mind shipping it yes it was a pain but you know what my two boxes got there safely at least I haven't heard anything from them so that's great so if it like I said in the last video if it's for $225 I have no problem doing that it's if it sold for $50 then I would be not happy about it but no I'm okay with that so all right I think that's where we're going to wrap it up here yes and if you have any other questions or comments about how you know we do run our business or anything like that send them on along we'd be glad to answer them yep so all right i guess that's it so we're gonna wrap this up and get back to work i'll start editing like the video like and subscribe share with your friends yeah and we will see you on the next one for happier treasures i'm steve i'm donna I'll see you next time bye